All right, so this is the six. Once you get off the, uh, you take the 95 to, what is it, the 365 or something? I ain't got no clue. Uh, it's this abandoned town, and I be wanting to film it, but when you are coming up this hill, you be so happy to get your speed back that you be like, nah, I'm not going to stop. Not only that, I am an urban individual, and being in abandoned places in the middle of nowhere is just absolutely not the business. Not the business at all. And of course, I got my flip-flops on, so <laughs> I got to watch my step. You got some done right there. You know what I'm saying? Some some high-quality fertilizer. But there's this creepy-ass sign. I want to show y'all this creepy-ass sign. And when you're driving, you come around this ridge, and you look at it, and you be like, what in the hell? It says, take me with you. You got all these little abandoned shacks. And of course, I'm not going into abandoned shacks. Again, I am an urban individual. <laughs> Y'all might be like, what do you mean by that? In every horror movie, who is the first person that tends to die? Even though, as an urban individual, we are usually the first to run. <laughs> so... <clears throat> That's that right over there, right? I gotta turn y'all this way because you know I ain't quite ready to leave my company yet. So I don't need uh particular people like uh you know I ain't, ain't no hey 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 ain't no names need to be said calling my company. Hey look at that. Why is who left their loves card out here? Why is your love's car out here, driver? All right, let's turn y'all this way. So, uh, I'm going to choose to stay in the more open area. And I wonder, like, there's this thing on YouTube I watch called Abandoned. So, what I need to do is get the proper, and I'm probably talking loud because my ears are popping. I probably need to get the proper name for this uh, abandoned area right here. And, uh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure there's some interesting stories to be told about door one. Door two, door three, door four. And strangely, an unnumbered door over there. Again, got to watch for the done. And yes, I am in my flip flops, so I got to make sure that the uh, man y'all would say I walk. I'm walking in. I'm kicking sand. But um, like there's a forklift back there, and there's oh, there's more houses back there. And I'm pretty sure that this might have been a. A pretty good spot for a gas station or some tourist stuff. My phone about to come out the thing. Hold on, y'all. But, uh, yeah, it's all kind of little abandoned stuff over here. So let's take a look at what else we got. You got... There's some chairs and stuff in there. Of course, I'm not going to go too close. Because <laughs> I'm scary. Y'all can talk all y'all want. Oh, you you scary. You you a punk. Yeah, call it what you want. But, uh... Just listen to how that big truck coming. That's a big truck. You hear it? That big truck loud coming on up that hill, boy. Let's see if we can get some. Let's see if we can get some horns. Let's see if we can get some horns. No, no.
Nobody gonna go horse? Oh, okay. <laughs> that driver's stopping. Huh? Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm just filming the stuff. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That driver thought I needed some help. That's all right right there. Boy, if you, if you say we ain't got driver camaraderie, whoever that driver is in the purple international that took out his momentum and stopped to see was I okay. Awesome. I mean, I, I thank you. I thank you, driver. Wow, that was amazing right there. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, you know, stuff like that to give, to, to reinstill faith in truck drivers, you know? So this place burnt down right here. <coughs> then you got these little empty hotels over here. And it says, Ryan Northrop is something. He stopped to see if I needed some help. I was doing the blow your horn sign. Did y'all see that purple? Uh, I think that was a KW over there. Damn. I hear you, big truck. I hear you. I'm getting on. I'm getting on. All right. Let's see. Is gay. <laughs> Ryan Northrop is gay. That's what it says. Buck RF loves Lucinda. Yeah, it's just completely abandoned. You know, it's abandoned, but don't that, uh, Look, heater thing up there look pretty, pretty fresh. Yeah, this is as far as I'm going, but I'm gonna go back and take a picture next to the, next to the, uh... <laughs> y'all see my ashy feet? Boy, the things I do, I try to keep this company out of the line light. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, so if y'all on the six, coming from the 95 I want to say 361 or something like that then you would uh definitely run past this you know look at big truck Yee! all right there driver all right there driver that's what I'm talking uh oh don't want to drop my phone because I'm already on the backup phone <laughs> This is the backup phone. Somebody go take a picture over there. But yeah, this is off the six. You'll see it. And uh, that take me with you is creepy, especially if you see it at night, because it'd be pitch black out here. You'd be like, what in the hell? Anyway, it's TRB, baby. As always, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Woo! That transition right there. I mean, come on now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you leaking? Or is that air condition? Oh Lord. I'm gonna take take a look at her. Hold on. I'm gonna go take me a picture by this sign. Pop this hood and then get back rolling. Get back rolling. You're only one hour away from Tanopa, Tanopa, Tanopa Historic Mining Park. All right, well that'll work. Get right over here.